Marty Robbins, the Battle of the Alamo. We are always excited to hear another great story from the great Marty Robbins. Um, yeah. I, 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 so, the Alamo. I'm trying to think exactly before we let me find out what the hell the Alamo is because I feel like I've heard it referenced to like multiple things like a desert area but I also feel like I've heard the Alamo Sea what is the Alamo let me see let me type it in what is the Alamo it's a museum uh, the Alamo was a religious outpost of the Spanish Empire. <laughs> hmm. The Battle of Alamo was a pivotal event in military engagement in the Texas Revolution. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we already know a lot of Marty Robbins. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I am sick. Um, talks about you know old westerns and old South um, stories, and so anyway, I'm ready to hear it. Uh, it's called a it's the ballad. So expecting something a little bit more softer than what we've heard from <coughs> Marty Robbins up to this point, <coughs> but I'm excited. We'll do the song research afterwards, but let's go. In the southern part of Texas, in the town of San Antonio, is a fortress all in ruins that the weeds have overgrown. You may look in vain for crosses and you'll never see a one, but sometimes between the setting and the rising of the sun, you can hear a ghostly bugle as the men go marching by. You can hear them as the answer to their roll call in the sky. Colonel Travis, Davy Crockett, and 180 more. Captain Dickinson, Jim Bowie, present and accounted for. Back in 1836, Houston said to Travis, Get some volunteers and go fortify the Alamo. Well, the men came from Texas and from old Tennessee, and they joined up with Travis just to fight for the right to be free. Indian scouts with squirrel guns, men with muzzle loaders, stood together heel and toe to defend the Alamo. You may never see your loved ones, Travis told them that day. Those who want to can leave now, those who fight to the death, let them stay. In the sand he drew a line with his army saber. Out of 185, not a soldier crossed the line with his banners a-dancing in the dawn's golden light. Santa Anna came prancing on a horse that was black as the night. So, because it said ballad, I was expecting something a little bit more softer. But this kind of sounds, it sounds exactly like the other Marty Robbins uh, records that I've heard. But, um, his, his ability to just, it's almost like he had actual, ma he, like, it's almost like he has actual manuscripts <coughs> of these events. Because his ability to give precise details, right? He drew a line in the sand and not one singer cross not one soldier crossed the line. You know what I mean? Like his ability to like like a lot of times when you hear storytellers in songs, they try to get in depth and like kind of walk you through everything, but you know, a lot of times a lot of storytelling records some things are kind of left to interpretation or whatever. But with him, <clears throat> he explains everything. He explains who, when, where, how, everything. Like, he leaves very long for interpretation. Like, it's, it's crazy. An officer to tell Travis to surrender. Travis answered with a shell. 
And a rousing rebel yell Santa Anna turned scarlet Played to quay low, he roared I will show them no quarter Everyone will be put to the sword One hundred and eighty-five Holding back five thousand Five days, six days, eight days, ten Travis held and held again Then he sent for replacements For his wounded and lame But the troops that were coming Never came, never came, never came Twice he charged, then blew recall On the fatal third time Santa Anna breached the wall And he killed them one and all Now the bugles are silent And there's rust on each sword And the small band of soldiers Lie asleep in the arms of the Lord In the southern part of Texas Near the town of San Antonio Like a statue on his pintle Rides a cowboy all alone And he sees the cattle grazing Where a century before Santa Anna's guns were blazing And the cannons used to roar And his eyes turn sort of misty And his heart begins to glow And he takes his hat off slowly To the men of Alamo To the thirteen days of glory At the siege of Alamo I like that. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, as somebody who lives in D.C., a city where, like, not too much really has changed since the city has been built in, like, the 1800s or whatever. Like, not too much about D.C. has changed from a geographic standpoint. And you just kind of think like, wow, like the same roads that presidents and, you know, Martin Luther King and everybody drove on. I'm on that exact road. So to hear him bring up in the last part of the song about a cowboy kind of riding through the Alamo or, or riding past the the scene or the, the place where that the Battle of the Alamo took place, um, you know, that's a real thing. And, and you can kind of feel it. Like, if you ever go to, like, reservations of, like, whatever, you know, if you ever been to, like, a slave plantation or stuff like that, like, you can feel, <clears throat> like, you feel something. Like, you can feel, I don't want to say spirits, but you just kind of feel like, oh, there was an energy. Like, there was something that happened here. Even if it's centuries old. You know what I mean? But anyway. But I really, really like it again. Already kind of know what to expect from Marty Robbins. Great storytelling. Great story. Um, again, I was expecting something something softer. Because it said ballad. But, <coughs> <coughs> but either way, it was fine to me. Great record, really, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, uh, I guess we'll see if there is some research to do. Even though it's pretty straightforward. Uh, Ballad of the Alamo. Whew, boy, I'm I'm getting it. I'm trying to. The second I could break this code, boy, I swear. Remember the Alamo? Yeah, that's not the same song. Hmm. Yeah, it's not the same song. Johnny Cash has a version to that song. Okay, they don't have a page for the ballad of the uh of the Alamo. But Either way, great song. Again, kind of, I don't want to say kind of, it definitely was still in the same vein as the other Marty Robbins songs, but thoroughly enjoyed it. Again, 
Okay. What I love most about his records is just the story, his ability to paint the picture and me being able to visually see it. Again, I'm a very visual person. So when he literally tells me the story, how people are thinking, what's being done, who, what, when, where, I visualize it. And his ability to paint a clear picture, like leaving me little room to misinterpret anything, I like that. Really, really like that. Y'all let me know what else from, from Marty Robbins I should check out, man. I'm in this quick because I feel like I'm losing my voice. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget the 75K giveaway. Until next time with Marty Robbins. Peace.